coming out of Solana right now, guys. They are holding the first day of their Breakpoint Conference. Now, already, this thing is making some noise, okay? It is really catching people's attention. The first thing that they've announced so far is their integration with the Graph. Essentially, the Graph's technology and services will now be integrated with Solana. That means that it will then acquire Solana Speed and other uh, scalability functions. Now, if you don't know uh, a little bit of backstory about the graph, guys, what they focus in is uh, indexing information. Essentially, for developers or people who look to build apps or any form of application, really, you can use the graph and search their indexes and see if the code already exists or the API or any, you know, technical information or data that you may need to help you build the app. Okay. The graph specializes in indexing that type of information. So that is very strong. A lot of people actually refer to the graph as the Google for that type of stuff. So that's very massive. But what also is massive, guys, and this I have been reading into heavily, Brave partners with Solana to integrate it into the browser and make it the default for DAP support, guys. So, so far we have two Web3 integrations that is going to push Solana even further. Announcing today at Solana's Breakpoint Conference, the CEO and founder of Brave, as well as the CEO and founder of Solana Labs, detailed how the companies will work together to bring best-in-class wallet features for the Solana blockchain into Brave's Web3 desktop and mobile browsers for the first half of 2022, guys. Brave, will integrate the Solana blockchain into the Brave browser, providing default, ecosystem, uh, providing default Solana ecosystem support to Brave's 42 million monthly active users and 1.3 million verified creators. Brave will soon default to Solana for cross-chain and Solana native dApps. So Brave basic attention token is essentially on Solana's blockchain now. They have partnered they have made it official and now it's coming together so basic attention token something you want to pay attention to guys that's why i made it an effort to cover basic attention token on this channel because i understood web3 i knew where it was going basic attention token is literally you can i use it every day okay every video that you see can essentially be brought to you by brave browser all right it's one of the few assets in the system that is actively being used in real world situations okay so the use case is massive for basic attention token guys and what i also like to see is that yes these projects are and they are receiving this information well and the prices are moving up basic attention token is actually up 16 percent no doubtedly because of this announcement now another project that is also uh, catching a lot of attention. We talked about this earlier today is render guys. They are now up eight, nine percent up to two dollars and twenty seven cent. Large reason as to why that's going on. Well, render was also mentioned at this conference. This was an early morning announcement, guys. That's how it made the morning news segment. But let's get a little bit deeper, guys. Today, they are announcing a new technical roadmap to bring the core components of the network's infrastructure to Solana, starting with a partnership with Metaplex, a decentralized protocol and set of open standards for digital asset issuance and ownership on chain. The mission for Render Network has always been to create the tool sets and technology infrastructure to realize the promise of an open metaverse. The core function of the Render Network to date has been to utilize and distribute GPU resources across a distributed network of consumer grade devices. This has made it possible for artists to access the, com the, the access to computational power necessary to build rich, immersive worlds with high fidelity at a scale and speed previously unobtainable. Now, however, access to computing power is only the starting point. Interoperability standards around issuance, provenance, and exchange of digital assets in credible neutral environments are the core of the ethos of an open metaverse. So 
this is going to directly come in and help with Solana's building of their metaverse, guys. It's also going to enhance their NFT presence as well. And of course, you know, we talk about Geno Pets. We've seen the graphics already that Solana has produced. Just wait until Render places some of its graphic power into that game, guys. It's going to look insane, okay? It's really going to look insane, guys. But it goes on to state that the core developers at the Render Network have assessed that Solana is the most programmable and secure underlying infrastructure for its future development plans as it continues to scale and take on massive metaverse scale rendering jobs through a deep integration with both Solana and Metaplex render network can become a platform where artists can create valuable IPs art and tools that can be issued and owned natively on Solana with distribution and monetization functions provided directly through Metaplex all with one click guys so that is very impressive okay Solana is rolling out the tech, rolling out the partnerships, the integrations today, guys. Now, this next one is very interesting, has some deep implications here, and it centers around a project that we haven't talked about in quite some time. Talking about Civic, okay? Now, Civic, we know as being a decentralized identity service, okay? Well, they're offering their technology to Solana as well, guys. Simply, they're going to be extending a digital identity service that will aid in NFT verification, guys. The story goes, well, on Decrypt, they give a little backstory here that September 14th, the Solana Network Prime for speedy, low-cost transactions compared to the often congested Ethereum, went down for 17 hours. The culprit was a group of bots, software programs that crypto traders use to make automated trades, aping into the great token sale on decentralized exchange Radium. The Solana Foundation called it, in effect, a denial of service attack, though the bots intended uh, use was to outmaneuver other traders not to take down the network. So we remember this, OK, when Solana had shut down for a little bit, there was a lot of controversy around it. And I don't even think the price came down a little bit. But it's not just exchanges that are having issues with bots. The software can also be programmed to bid on NFTs. So to deal with this issue, uh, San Francisco based Civic, a decentralized identity protocol, announced today the launch of Ignite Pass, a free version of Civic Pass. Civic says Ignite Pass will require NFT buyers to prove their liveliness so that drops and mints can maintain an equitable and transparent community. Now, simply put, guys, like I said, the Civic Pass will now have a different version of it that will allow for people to verify themselves when they purchase nfts through solana okay so what we just saw in these moves here in these series of announcements and i'm pretty sure that some more is coming out uh as this conference goes on but just right away guys these first four developments essentially laid a foundation for whatever solana is about to get ready to do next okay now Decentralized identity for NFTs. Solana is getting ready to launch a huge NFT game. They're going to need some help with identifying people through this game. That would make sense, right? Again, I don't need to reiterate this render, making the graphics for the metaverse, so forth and so on. So they needed a backer. This, this particular integration, this partnership, it, it, it takes me back a little bit. This is like when, um, let's just say, Unreal would uh, Unreal Engine would partner up with a game, or when Bungie came and got involved with Halo, stuff like that. Jack specific, if you're a wrestling fan, they got involved. But simply put, guys, this is going to be good for Solana. It's going to be good for their coming games, and it's also going to bring more attention to Render and civic as well as basic attention token because of the uh market effect that solana already has on everyone so solana just really put these projects on the map guys and with this brave partnership we have web3 okay so 
let's just imagine again using Geno Pets as an example. This game reaches a million people, 200 million, 300 million people. All right. They're all going to be looking for another way to interface with the game or other uh, dApps that come on Solana's ecosystem. Now they have a Web3 gateway in the form of basic attention token. So this has this conference, guys, I, I as I was I was scrolling through Twitter and I saw this unfolding. You can see the times here, guys. They are still going. They started about eight hours ago. And ever since they have just been dropping announcement after announcement, guys, looks like they haven't done. OK, they're done with day one. So glad I brought this to you when I did, guys. That that is how day one went so far at Solana's breaking point conference, guys. And you can see here, this is a picture of the coming Brave wallet set for December of 2021 leading into 2022, guys. So you see it right here. Basic attention token has some hardware, some heavy artillery on the way, guys, coming down the line in 2022. So Web3, we know that's important. Metaverse, we know that's important. Like, if you really were to ask me when it comes to Web3 protocols, the one that I have been using, the one that I have interacted with, made transactions with, have the most experience with is basic attention token, the Brave wallet. OK, Brave browser. So I am very excited. Hope you guys are excited if you're holding these projects. OK, let this be a good day for you. Consider this a win. Definitely. All right. So. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Just wanted to give you this breaking news from Breakpoint Solana's conference live from Portugal, guys. They've just really, really set the set the tone for the rest of the month, in my opinion, guys. So again, if you found value in this video, guys, if you love this content, hit that like button, subscribe, ring the notification bell so you never miss it again. Also, if you want to get in contact with me, you can always reach me in the comments or you can send me an email. Links will be down in the description for your convenience, guys. Oh, and don't forget, we are approaching, okay, November 15th. It's the last day for you to capitalize on your Abra CR CPRX free $25 in CPRX, guys. And you get even more when you, uh, when, during the airdrop, when that comes. So, you can get yourself in position, guys. Links will be links for that will be in the description as well. So with all that being said, I want you to have a great day. Have a prosperous day. Most importantly, let's make this money, guys. I'll see you all in the next one.